it's Tiffany. I am here with the brand new Foodie Ruse. I want to thank the company for sending these to me to take a look at with you guys today. I'm so hyped. I saw these at Toy Fair. I was so excited. I was just counting down days till, <laughs> until they showed up in stores and here they are. I'm so excited. There are so many different ones to collect. We have a gummy pretzel juice and fruit cup one here today. Now it says I look, smell, and feel like my favorite food. You guys don't even know. Just like, okay, the pretzels, you like feel it? Feels like pretzels inside. It's crazy. It's crazy. Uh, full size plush inside. Container becomes the foodie's room. And then it's really cool because I am hoping there's a checklist in here. There are 20 to collect. Um, so you see clearly that this is a little gummy character, like a gummy themed character, because obviously it's the gummies. But I think there's a few or two or some, a couple different ones that you can collect that's, that are gummies. So you don't exactly know who you have, just like the peak hole will help you find out which, which one you want to find if you want to find a specific one. So anyway, let's go ahead and start getting these open. This is the gummies one. It's really, really, really pretty. I love the containers. And we do have like a little, little, um, ingredients and nutrition facts and it says contents collector sheet instruction sheet bonus sticker uh, you get a foodie root plush or 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 so there's three I'm thinking there's three different ones I'm thinking and then there's the foodie room set and it's cuteness cuddliness sweetness smells like gummies that's so funny and that's it this looks like one of those box tops that's funny <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and open this up. It's just a piece of plastic here at the top. Let's be careful not to cut the foodie's room. Alright, so we have a nice little tear strip. Take that off. And I'm assuming we're gonna take the oops, sorry. <laughs> we're gonna take the lid off first. It says winner winner rare treat inside. What? What? Wait, does that really wait? Does that mean we got a rare one? Wait, what? Wait. I kinda wanna like open the other ones just to see what they say on the top. It's a winner, winner, rare treat inside. What? I wonder if we, what? <gasps> no way, no way. I remember seeing this one at Toy Fair and I was like, this is the one I want. And then they said it was the rare one and I was like, okay, figures. <laughs> it's gonna be hard to find. No, these are the frosted animal cookies, aren't they? So then this kind of like defeats, the not defeats the purpose, but it's, it's not a gummy. But it's a rare one, so it's fine. It's fine. I don't care. I was I was all set for a gummy, but you know, it's all good. So cool. Okay, so right away, I'm assuming that this is supposed to feel like sprinkles inside because we have the inside of the ears and then the feet and everything all sprinkly. Plus, if you can hear it. I don't know if you can hear. There, <laughs> I went up to the microphone. It has like beads or something inside, so it does feel like sprinkles. And then it has plush in there along with it, so it's not it's not alone. It's not just a beanie character. Now these are the Frosted Animal Cookies that everybody knows and loves. I mean, I, I was a big Frosted Animal Cookie fan growing up, huge. Still like them to this day. <laughs> and this is a cute little elephant. The eyes and the nose are embroidered and they're shiny and oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So. I'm freaking out, it's fine. Um, we have some clips here. We gotta figure out what's going on with this container. I was just too busy freaking out about that. Um, I'm thinking we have to clip this little bit off so we can open it up. And it looks like, hold on, let's see. We Oh, yep, it opens up just like that. Now, there's this little paper inside. You can probably take this out, I think. It looks like you can. Uh, we're gonna leave it for a second. I'm thinking, let's see, let's just wait for the instructions. It might be a little better. <gasps> okay, oh, we got like a sticker sheet that actually is themed to go along with the character that you got inside. So it looks like we have a bed, we have sugar fint uh, poster, we have animal cookies, we have a picture. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So we get to put these all in the room, like there's a little TV. We just kind of place them around. Let's look at the checklist, or I mean the instruction guide first. So it says separate the container half, remove interior eye sticker and save. Oh, we save it. Uh, and then let's see, three apply stickers, four insert connectors into the halves as shown. And then, oh, okay, the lid is going to be the floor. So let's just see. I'm not sure how we're supposed to remove this because I don't know. Okay, there we go. There we go. We got it. Oh, I can't, I'm not saving it. I'm not doing a great job at saving it. <laughs> I tore it a little bit. Whoopsies. <laughs> anyway, we have a nice little window. That's so cool. And we have a checklist we'll look at in just a second. So 
I'm just gonna stick a few stickers on. I don't wanna go too, too crazy. Uh, just because I'm not great at putting stickers on. I'm gonna go ahead and put the sugar fence sticker inside on the TV because it looks like it would fit the best. I'm thinking it is curved, so it is a little, I wanna say it, it seems to be a little trickier to put the sticker in here but I'm just not that great at putting stickers in anyway. Oh, actually that didn't turn out too, too bad. I really like that. So it's on the TV. We have a fridge, we have a little stand. There's like lots of texture and stuff in here, which is great. Um, I kind of don't want to like put too many stickers on just right, just yet, because there's just like so much detail that I want to see, like the fridge and the hearts on the wall and stuff, but putting the bed there would be cool. But for the time being, let's just go ahead and put our connectors in so that we can attach it here. I'm assuming it'll go like here. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just winging it here. And we'll put that there and then we'll put it there. So it's kind of like this. Actually, were we supposed to, was it supposed to be like that? I guess. Oh yeah, because she sits there. Oh, apply eye sticker. Oh, it's a sticker. Oh my gosh, I ripped it, but that's okay. That's really cool. I only ripped it a little bit at the bottom. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. <laughs> That's such a cool, I didn't know it was this, I didn't realize it was a sticker, I should've known. It was literally sad. But we can go ahead and put our little friend in there and oh man, this is perfect. And then you can, you know, you could make this back into a container if you wanted to. Now we're just gonna go ahead and put her back there. She's our prized possession. While we look at the checklist, we've been freaking out about her for like 10 minutes already. <laughs> but let's look at everybody else in the series. So it says, one day in the town of Yummyville, these animals were enjoying their favorite foods and ate a little too much. In the blink of an eye, they turned into their favorite foods and became a foodie roux. Now every roux feels, looks, and smells. Oh, smells, wait. <gasps> Ooh, okay. <laughs> smells like, kind of like vanilla, I guess. Uh, feels, looks, and smells like their favorite food and is ready to pop out and play with you. Can you find all the hidden foodie roux? I hope so. I want to get this full collection. I'm not even kidding. So this is what I meant by there's going to be two different ones in the container. So if we had the, the container here that said popcorn on it, we would either find this one or this one, or of course a rare one like we had found in the gummy one. So obviously that doesn't count as gummy. But there are two different ones. So look at Colonel Kitty and Car Carmel. I want those, oh my gosh. And then here's the gummy. So these are the ones that we should, I don't wanna say should have, but like could have possibly gotten either one of these, or of course the rare. And then there's the chips, the cookies, Fruit cup, soda, pretzel, juice, cereal, and rare treats. So this is the one we got. There are two, there's a macaron one, and then this one right here, we got the sugar fin. Sugar fin always stays with the herd, but stands out with her rainbow tail. I am so excited the first one we got was that one. I'm still freaking out a little bit. Anyway, we should probably move on to the next one. Let's go ahead and open up this fruit cup one. So of course we have some nice fruits here on the front. And we're just gonna go ahead and cut it open. Okay. And let's see, are we gonna get another rare? No, no rare. So it does It does not normally have the lid. Um, and I thought for some reason that this here was actually the little animal inside. It does look re very realistic, but it's not. It's just a picture, a generic picture, because you don't actually know which one you get of the two. But at least it narrows it down. So if I wanted one of the fruit cup ones, I would definitely keep getting the fruit cup ones until I found the one I wanted. So let's see, I'm going to, is this the same house inside? It's literally the same house. So you can decorate it, you know, however you want. It is also the same color. I think all this, oh, I guess, I guess those ones will be different colors. But anyway, it is the same house inside, so we're not gonna like open it up and do all that fancy stuff. But look at this cute little sticker sheet. I really, really love this. I like how the little farmer's market thing's there. We put that on the TV. We have little strawberry lights. And then it's like, these pictures here are like of the other one in their grouping, so that's really cool. Now let's 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 check out our new friend. It looks like a little bunny. Okay, so this is a fruit cup. It's supposed to feel like fruit. Wow. Oh my gosh. It's definitely like fruit salad. I'm definitely feeling like grapes, blueberries maybe. Like it's really, really cool. Oh my gosh. And then of course we have some stuffing in the front. Let me smell. Smells like strawberries. Oh my gosh. Or berries or blueberries or like the blueberries and strawberries and everything. This is berry hop. 
Berry Hop loves to have a bouncing good time and is very sweet. I really love this little bun bun. I love her little ears. I love the blueberry ears and then the strawberry body. Or wait, no, it's a raspberry body. She's holding a strawberry with her blueberry hands <laughs> and her blueberry feet. That is the cutest. Raspberries are like my one of my favorite fruits. So that's really awesome. They do have the FR here. I didn't notice that before for Foodie Roos. I love these, guys. I love these. I need more of them already. Let's go ahead and open up the pretzel one next. Ooh, I'm so excited. So the pretzel one has really cool um, pretzels on the front. Well, I mean, there's generic pretzels and then there's like a, I don't know if that's more of a chocolate covered pretzel or if it's one of those, those like yogurt dip pretzels. Never really like those. I like chocolate covered pretzels though. Those are delicious. Ooh, this one's so cool. Okay, let's push these clips off the side. So we do have a purple interior. This is the same though. It has the same fridge, the TV, everything's the same. Same wallpaper, everything. We'll just go ahead and put that there. And let's look see at our ticker sheet. So we have a couch this time. Look at the pretzels in the oven and then we have, or in the microwave oven. We have pretzel pictures, the baking show. That's really cool. <laughs> I'm so excited, can you tell? And let's crack this open. Oh my goodness, let's feel for pretzels. Oh snap, there's like actually pretzels in here, what? There's actually not that many in here surprisingly. I don't know how many there are, but I thought this would be like a little bit more full of pretzels, but definitely at least three. I mean obviously they're not real, uh, they're not real pretzels inside, but you know what I mean. So this one here has pretzel, just a generic pretzel pattern all over, and then here in the front it's those, we're gonna say chocolate covered pretzels. So this is Pret Squirrel. <laughs> Pret Squirrel never lets the small stuff get her twisted. That's great. Let me smell her. Oh my gosh, wait. Whoa, she smells like really pretzely. <laughs> it's so weird. I love it, it smells good. Okay, let's check out this last one. I'm actually really sad that this is the last one but I am so hyped because I can't wait to find more of these. I can't find the tear strip on this one. Oh, here it is. All right, so this one here is a juice one. You can definitely tell this one's heavier because yes, it's probably gonna contain juice or fake juice. So here is the juice container. It has lemons and apples on the front. Ooh, hello. And we have a red interior, but it is the same pattern. Where'd the lid go? Here we go, put that on. This one's so cute, it's a little lemon fish. I don't know, lemon whale? It's a lemon something. A lemon, we'll figure it out. Just give me a second to find her on the checklist. This is Whale Aid. Oh, she's lemonade, whale, a whale lemonade. Uh, whale Aid is too cute to be sour. She always looks at life through whaley positive eyes. The other one's an apple one that you can get. Oh my gosh, let me smell her. Oh my gosh, she smells so good, like lemons and she feels like, like juice, like listen. Like she has juice inside. What? <laughs> fake juice, I don't, wanna, I don't want you guys to think that's real food inside these things. They are fake products, but like they feel like them. It's crazy. I really love the water blowing out of the blowhole up here. This is just really amazing. I cannot wait to open up more of these. I'm definitely going to have to maybe grab a full case in the future. Of these four characters we found today, let me know your favorite in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I will see you next time.